Hi, welcome back to Markets of Sunshine. Thank you for joining me here today on my channel. And here on this channel, you're going to have inspiration on a weekly basis with DIY craft video tutorials on different topics. And my current topic is about slow stitching, which it's called in the UK, hand stitching, embroidery stitching in the United States. So um, I'm going to be doing a monthly theme. I'm going to try to finish a project in a month. So this is the current project that I have going on. And I'm going to do a prompt theme with each of the uh, months. So I chose pink to be the prompt theme for February. I did start this in January, <clears throat> but I'm um, dealing with a health situation. I have um, Lyme disease and I had heart um, issues for 18 years and they never really found anything significant and um, I was taking just natural herbs and supplements and things like that for 14 years to treat it and then December 2022 um, I had an AFib attack so I've since been on now prescription medication to keep the AFib under control which has finally taken in my body a, all this time now what a month because that was December 19th I think it was when I went in the hospital and um, so I'm feeling much better so my body's regulating I'm only on a half a dose of the medication so I can function <laughs> which is so wonderful okay so and um, that's why I'm having to take it slow so I just wanted you to know that so that you understand when you're watching my videos um, what I'm dealing with so that you will um, anticipate um, there can be ups and downs with this situation. Hopefully it will not go down <laughs> or up. I don't even know which, which, what is, what, what they say ups and downs. What's the, what's the good? How about we just say, let, let's keep it on a level even part. That's what I like. I don't want the ups and downs. I want, I want level. I want stability and that's what I have now. So thank you for all the prayers and thank you for all the support and the love. I could not have gotten through this without all of you and also here on my channel you will be getting modern lifestyle tips and I have um, an Etsy shop two Etsy shops one I sell vintage items so all of these fabrics and textiles are um, items from my stash but I also have a lot of vintage um, fabrics and laces and trims and buttons and Oh, lace, you name it, that um, is available for you to purchase. So if you want to do any of these projects with me and you would like to use Vintage, then feel free to visit my uh, Pioneer Fundraiser is the name of that Etsy shop and the link will be in the description. All the important information is in the description below. And my handmade shop, I have four clubs. They're called Sunshine Makers club so markets of sunshine is my business name so i took i live in florida so the sunshine from that makers were makers as far as making things with our hands and so it's the sunshine makers club so if you're whatever you're into making whether it's cooking it doesn't matter what it is home decor whatever um <clears throat> you can be a part of the club and so I will be doing a video about the club. I started it, kicked it off in um, the beginning of December. And so those clubs are available anytime for purchase in my Etsy shop. And once you are a member of the club, you are invited to join my private Facebook community where you can share any of the projects that you've made from items you've purchased in my Etsy shops and also you'll be getting perks from me once you become a member of that Sunshine Makers 
club. So those are exclusive product lines to my Etsy shop and to my um, business here. So now let's get into the project for February. So it's our um, pink slow stitch project. And I will be putting kits together um, with what you see me making here. And um, so hopefully I will have um, enough of these items available, scraps for you to be able to purchase and for me to share. So it will be little pieces just like what you see here of the laces and trims, the fabric. So the fabric size will be this exact size and I did this to make a journal cover but it would be perfect as a little um, placemat, uh, snack mat, mug rug, a side table top piece your, uh, in your bedroom. It'd be a beautiful on a pillow. So there's so many ways you can use these little slow stitch, hand stitch embroidery projects. So I started off <laughs> Oh my goodness, you know, because it's like, you know, you get ahead of yourself and I'm working on this at night and um, while I'm waiting to take my medication because it's not, it's not on a time schedule, unfortunately, and it's always in the wee hours of the morning. So it's like, it's really turned my whole life upside down, but uh, my sleep schedule that is. So I sleep a lot during the day now because I have to sleep this weird schedule. So this was going to be a journal cover. And I had pockets. I had a pocket. There was a method to this madness. And But then when I started the stitching, and I had already sewed it and everything else, but that's fine. Because then what I'm going to do with this is um, attach this to a cardboard base that will be the cover of the journal to give it you know, more stability anyway. And then I will cover the inside of that cardboard with more fabric or paper or whatever I choose at the time and then I'll put a signature in it so I'll probably just do a, a one signature I may do two or three signatures it just depends on what I decide by the time I, I get there so folded let me fold it and then that will give us our better measurements so this this is a flannel so I have a lot of this vintage uh, pink and white floral flannel available so I will be putting that together so all of this, like I said, will be in a kit. This pink here, I'm not sure how much of this I have left. So I'll have to look and see. Okay, so it's approximately six and a quarter. And approximately eight. Okay, so six and a quarter by eight inches. Uh, seven and a half. Okay, so six, six and a quarter. So that's 12 and a half by seven and a half would be 15 inches. No, seven and a half. That's seven and a half. <laughs> I always describe that. Seven and a half. Okay, so 12, 12 and a half by seven and a half is the piece of fabric. That's the size of the fabric that you will get minus this pocket thing here. That, that part you won't get. And um, so then this, all of these pieces here, like I said, I'm not sure what I have left because I was using up scraps. I know I have a little bit of this left, but I don't have a whole lot of it. This one I do, this one I think I do, this one I do, this I think I do. Um, this fabric here, I don't think I have any more. I may have a little bit of it. Same thing with this. So anyway, like I said, I'm, I'm using up scraps. So this is a use up your supplies, use up your scraps kind of a project. And um, I have this vintage, very thick, I think this was a dress that I had cut down. That was one of my daughters or something I'd gotten from somewhere years through the years. Um, so I probably will put a piece of this in here because it's very similar to this minus the little trim here. And um, so basically you'll be getting one, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, seven trims because I cut this piece here and this piece here it was cut off of this. And um, so seven trims and then you'll be getting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, uh, seven uh, scrap fabric pieces and then your base would be the eighth. And um, then I'm, I also have uh, a few applique pieces that will be included. So I have this applique heart and I will be uh, making more of these applique hearts. I've made them here with you on my channel. Um, so you can see how I did that. They will all have a vintage button some kind of a bead dangle. They will all have seed bead trim on them um, and made with vintage fabrics and laces and trims, just like you see here. So that is what's going to make my um, kits a little bit um, different from what you would see on Etsy that other shops are offering is they um, give you all the base supplies and materials but I don't see any giving you a finished, completed embellishment with the kits. There may be some out there. I just haven't looked in, in, to see that there are. And there will be instructions with my kit. There will be a template with the kit. Um, there's a big surprise that I'm going to be including with these that will be coming. And so um, you're really, really going to love it. And um, so if you want to, you know, make one of these applique hearts yourself, I'll have a little instruction sheet on how to do that. And there's the video here on my channel showing you how to do these. So you will have both of those um, tools available for you when you when you purchase the kit. So uh, I'm not in a rush to put the kits in the shop. If you're interested in one of the kits, then please um, leave me a message below. Send me a private message on my Instagram or Facebook. If you are on my mailing list, send me a message on my email. You can sign up for my mailing list. And you will be able to use your Sunshine Makers Club VIP coupon code when you get on my mailing list to purchase one of the kits. So um, the prices of the kits are going to be comparable to what's on Etsy already. It's going to be probably in a mid-range, so it won't be the low end, it won't be the high end, it's going to be in the middle range because I will be including a lot of extra goodies that are not included in these other kits. Um, one being a finished applique piece with all the beadwork, that takes a lot of time, so um, that kind of a thing. So that's why the prices will be in a mid-range. It'll be well worth the price with a pattern and another surprise goodie that's going to be coming that once it's here and once I get the kits listed, then I will show you. It's absolutely going to be fun, adorable, wonderful. You will love it, love it, love it. So um, to let me show you now what I've done with this process so far. So these are the flosses that I'm using. And I have a darker red that I used just to go with this one here. And I have, um, I don't know if I had the darker pink or if this is the same darker pink uh, that came with it. So I'm not sure about that. And I will be including um, not, not a full skein of floss, but I will be putting in um, enough that I feel for each. I don't know, I might put in... Um, Let's see, how much is this? Okay, this is, all right, 8.75 yards. I might put in a yard off of each. That'd be, that'd be 36 inches. So of each color, we'll, you'll have 36 inches of the floss um, to have with your kit. So it's going to be a really nice, comprehensive, complete kit for you, minus your needle. <laughs> You will have the floss, so there won't be any needles put in it. Um, you all should have an embroidery needle. If um, if I can 
find a really good deal, I may just throw in a, an embroidery needle as well because that would be an extra perk and plus that nobody else is doing. So I, I may surprise you and uh, do that. I, I'll have to look and see where I can get them at a really good deal to be able to include them. So um, now what I did on this beautiful piece here is I laid out my fabric the way I wanted to lay it out. And you can lay yours out any order that you want to. And then I came across it and most of where all the junctions and the edges of the fabric were is where I put and covered it up with the laces and trims. Okay, so I don't want to see, like here's an open junction right here, edges, I don't want to see this. So I'm going to come in here with another piece. This goes up here, so I'll put another little piece right here and hide that. And then my heart embellishment, once I'm all done, then he will uh, get placed right here, which will probably uh, wind up being glued at this point, what I'm thinking of. I'll put some fusible web on the back of this and this little piece here and then I'll iron that down and then glue on the back of this. So that's how I will adhere him. So I have done, this was all embroidered on, on this piece already and it looks like machine done here. So this is, uh, all, all of my work is hand stitched, not machine stitched. So French knots, um, some straight stitches, some stem stitches, some back stitches, cross stitches, um, running stitches. So those are the basic um, stitching that I did so far. I did a chain stitch down here. And um, so I, you know, you, whatever stitches you want to use and whatever you want to put on yours, you know, feel free. Since this has already had all this beautiful work done here, there was no need for me to come in here and add anything to it. So um, I, you know, haven't looked at that any further. And then I said, well, since I'm going to put the beautiful heart right here, then again, I mean, that just, you know, completes the whole look of it. And I don't, I mean, it's just beautiful like that. So there's, there's no need to put anything else in here. So um, the next uh, step uh, stage of this will be to um, make the cardboard piece and then the signature. So we'll do all that together. And then I'll, when I get ready to glue this and put the fusible web part here, then we'll do that together. So I just wanted to show you this. So this will be the first kit and that will be what you will be getting. And so some of these pieces, um, it may just be the same colors, it may not be these exact same uh, trims, but again, if I don't have this one with a little dangle part here, then it will be this one because it's the exact same kind of texture as that one. And then, like I said, with this <coughs> muted soft pastel one here, if I don't have more of this, it will be something uh, similar. But anyway, so it's the, the amount of pieces that you see. And if I have more of this, that will be included. This will be all the base because I have tons of that. And so it's really going to be a fun, fun project. And when I get the other um, embellishment made, I have to make it, then um, you'll see what it is and you will love it. So I will be making it and showing you how to do it, but then you will get it in your kit for you to do yourself. This will be the only completed applique uh, piece that you will get in your kit. <laughs> but the other one, we're going to, we're going to, I'm going to show you how to do it and then you will get the um, supplies to do it yourself. So that's going to be a lot of fun for you guys. I really, I know you're going to just have a great time with that. So thank you for being here with me today. And um, this is the beginning and this will kick off our 2023 series of slow stitching and each month we'll have a new prompt by color theme. So February's is pink. And then you can use whatever stitches you want to use. And if you would like to get one of these kits, then stay tuned. And it will be coming uh, probably in another uh, week or two in my Etsy shop. So once I get all the supplies and get the embellishment made, then I will put the kits together. I'll do that in the meantime. 
and it will just be getting this embellishment part of it together for you. Thank you very much again. Stay safe. Keep creating in the sunshine. Bye-bye. Pick the club that expresses your modern lifestyle, our nature therapy club or our gratitude journal club, maybe the fitness walking club, and also the pen pal club. The link is in the description box below. See you soon in the club.